Hello, children, I see you. I'm very happy to see you. Greet your family, boogie on down. Give a clap and turn around. My name is Wendy. We're going to learn about rocks and soil. So we're going to start out by learning a little bit about rocks. And we're going to learn about rocks and soil. We're even going to eat soil. But that comes at the end. The earth is a big rock. Did you know it? It supports us. We build on it. Things grow. There are three kinds of rocks we're going to learn about today. Here's our picture. So we're going to learn about igneous rocks that are from hot, melted or molten material in the earth. Let's be an igneous rock. And we're going to, whoosh, we're hot, we're melted. And then we're going to cool and harden, sometimes under the earth and sometimes over the earth. Now we're a hard igneous rock. So let's take a picture of that. Next, we're going to be a sedimentary rock. So those igneous rocks get broken down. Let's see some of the ways they get broken down. Maybe by heat. Here's my hair dryer. Maybe by cold. Here's my ice pack. Maybe by lightning. Can you see it flashing on and off? It's sort of hard to see it in the, there we go. So it can be broken up in lots of ways. We're gonna learn more ways later into little tiny pieces like sand. And they drift down in a lake and down and down and down and they layer and layer and layer and they come under pressure and heat and they form into big word alert, sedimentary rocks. Now, sometimes those, remember igneous rocks, pretty big word, those melted rocks and those layered rocks, sedimentary rocks, get changed. And then they become, big brain word, metamorphic rocks. So we're going to learn about all those different kinds of rocks. But let's do a little finger play. Here's our finger play right here. And some rocks come from seas. And some rocks come from heat. And some rocks become soil. Let's till the soil. But every rock is neat. So let's take a look at some of our rocks. So I have a lot, look at this, of different kinds of rocks that we're going to look at. So first of all, let's look at some igneous melted rocks. Here we go. Now let's look at some of those rocks made by layers of sand and you can see different color sand. And then let's look at some metamorphic rocks that have changed. You can see how the different bits of rock sort of melted together. Oh, sometimes into, it looks like two kinds of rocks. So those are metamorphic rocks. We also can see that sometimes rocks, look, have things inside them. It looks like maybe some worms, some shells, maybe something lived in these holes. You know what I was thinking about this rock? This rock looks like another new word, coprolite. Dinosaur poop rock, maybe. That's what I think it looks like. You can see that in this rock, maybe there was some kind of plant growing at one point. And sometimes we look at a rock from the outside and we say, ooh, that rock is ugly. But when we open it up, there's a surprise inside. So we can look at in this rock, you can see the layers. 
And here's another one where you can see the layers in the rock. Let's look at some of the different colors of rock. So this is a purple rock. And we have here a greenish rock. We have a yellow rock. Here's another green rock. A blue rock. This one's been polished, so it's very pretty. A very dark black rock. A clear rock, like a crystal. Looks sort of like a big piece of salt. A shiny blue rock. Here we have a red rock a light green rock, and another very shiny piece of rock. But in addition to that, an animal named a coral makes a rock out of its dead skeletons. That's another kind of rock. And sometimes we find, let's look here. Can you see fossils? imprints are many kinds of fossils. Some of them are the actual thing and some of them are just the, the um, imprint of it. So there are many, many kinds of rocks. Now we're gonna learn a little bit about soil. So we're gonna sing a song. Remember we said that rocks break up to make soil. So here's our song right here. And it goes like this. Making soil, breaking up rocks, making soil, now just so. Now I add some air and water and some things to make things grow. So that's thinking about breaking up rocks but let's look at some of the ways we can break up rocks and we can act them out to be rock breakers. So rocks can break up with cold. So let's shiver with heat. Here's our big hot sun with heat. So let's fan ourselves because heat with lightning. Can you make zigzag fingers? With roots, so dig those roots into the ground. With chemicals bubbling up. So with wind, let's blow. So rocks can break up in many different ways and they break up into different size particles. So let's be, first of all, a great big rock. Gonna, or we could be a small rock, but then we're going to break up into coarse sand and fine sand and very fine sand and silt and barely keep your fingers apart. Clay, the very tiniest particles. Soil has layers. The top layer, if it's nice and rich, we might call humus. And it's got lots of organic matter, animals and plants and things in it. That's really good for planting. The top soil is the layer on top. And it is where we're mainly going to get our plant roots. And it has rock particles and lots of organic matter from animals and plants. So we have the top soil. Now let's go down to the subsoil. The subsoil has lots of minerals, not much organic matter, but lots of minerals. We need those because that's like food for the plants. Then on top of that is the parent material. Now the parent material often will come from the bedrock. That's the very bottom and it breaks up and becomes the parent material. So we have different layers in soil. And soil is made up of different things. So we have the very tiniest particles are the clay. Then we have the silt. Then we have the sand. We also remember we had air, water, and living things. Soil is alive. 
Did you know soil is a living thing? I bet you thought it was just dirt. No way. Soil is alive. It includes water. So let's drink. It includes nutrients. Let's see. Let's see those minerals, organic matter, air. Can we all blow? And then lots of living things, worms, bacteria, fungi, nematodes. So let's be all those living things, lots of bacteria, very many bacteria. So I'll show you some pictures of some of these. There's a fungi, we talk about its hyphus, which is sort of like little rootlets that come out. We need all these things. Here's rhizobium. You can see those are attached to the roots. Lots of big words today. Bacteria, oh, millions of bacteria in just a spoonful of soil. Nematodes, which are like a kind of worm. And they do a lot of different things. Some of them shred, some of them break down chemicals. Some of them decompose organic matter. They do lots of important things. Some of them eat each other to keep a good balance. So they're really, really important. Now I'm gonna look at my soil right here and see what's inside it. So, hmm, you can see I have some rotting food. And you can see the dirt. Now let's see, sometimes there's insects inside it. Let's see what else is inside it. Hmm. I'm looking to see, oh, does anybody know what's this? Oh, there's a worm. Yep, there's a worm in my soil. Let's see what else. Hmm. Oh, there's a stick in my soil. So there's a stick. I even have, if I can get it, a little baby worm here. He's tiny, tiny, and he keeps getting away from me, but I'll see if I can get him. Oh, there he is. There's also, the last time I looked, I had some insects in here, and I'm going to see if there are any in here right now. So you can see that there's lots of things. I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, see I found, here's a stone in my soil and some leaf in my soil. And then, oh yeah, there he is. Can you see him? Let me see if I can get him so you can see him. Can you see? Yep, there was an insect in my soil too. Yep, he's, oh, can you see him moving around? Let's see if I can get him so you can see him. There he is. So there's an insect in my soil and I'll see if I can find one more thing in my soil. So let's look here. And, oh, here's a nice big one. So, yep. Lots of living things in that soil. Remember I said, soil is living. It's not just dirt. Now, let's see some of the components of soil. So, soil, here we go. Here's my nice rich soil, which you can see. Here are some of the small rocks you might find in soil. This is rocky soil, so you can see that. This is clay soil. You'll see it has some hard, where the clay is hardened, clay soil. This is sandy soil. Can you see all the sand that fell to the bottom? Now we have different, remember we said we had different size sands. So we have, here's our sand. Look at this coarse sand. There's our coarse sand. And here's our very fine sand. It's so fine, it looks almost powdery. Here's our silt, which is even more powdery because it's even smaller particles. And here's our clay, which is so, oh, it's so powdery that when water got into it, it formed hard balls. Maybe you've made something out of clay and it's, balled. it's formed something hard. 
So soil is made up of all of those things. Now I'm going to first show you three books that I like about rocks. This book is called Bob's Rock. The reason I like it is it's a funny book because Bob says that his rock makes a better pet than a dog. So it's a funny book for us to laugh at because Bob's rock really does whatever Bob tells him to do. This book, The Earth and I, tells us, remember we said the earth is a great big rock? It tells us how we're related to the earth and how if we take care of the earth, the earth takes care of us. Many cultures feel that the earth, like soil, is a living thing. This book is really neat. It's Real Size Science Rocks and Soil. And you can see it has actual size pictures in it of the different things that you find in soil. So I'm going to show you. There you go. So those are three different kinds of books about rocks and soil. Now I'm gonna read you a little story called Rocks, Rocks, Rocks. So let's look at the picture of the rocks, rocks, rocks. There we go. And now some rocks come from seas. Can you see that? Those are our rocks from seas. And some rocks, we said, come from heat. And we can see the rock that's melting. And some rocks become soil. That's what we were just learning about. But every rock is neat. And so we are going to be doing some activities with rocks. The first thing we're gonna do is be a rock and soil hunter. So here are my questions. Look at the soil by your home. How does it feel? Wet, dry, sticky? What's in it? You saw what was in my soil, some surprises even for me. Are there leaves, twigs, worms, insects? Dig a little. Is there a rock? under the soil layer. Let me show you the soil that I gathered by my house. So first of all, this is my sandy soil. And you can see it. it. You can see the layers. So it does have a little bit of layer of silt on top. That's my sandy soil. Now let's look at this. This is my silty soil. And again, you can see the layers. And it's pretty heavy because it has bigger particles. Now let's look at my clay soil and you'll see how fine that looks in its layers. So you can do this same thing. You can get soil from different places around your house. Put it in with some water, let it sit and separate out and see the different layers of things that are in your soil. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make soil we can eat. So here's some edible soil that I made. You can see I made it with graham cracker crumbs and I had a cracker to be the bedrock and I had some nice for the clay I used some nice frosting and I have all sorts of things in the soil so I'm going to get my container to make the soil in so first I've got to put in a bedrock layer so I'm going to take here's my crackers and I'm going to put those in the bottom to be the bedrock Here's my bedrock, but I'm going to break some of it up to be the parent material. So here I'm breaking some up, and that's going to be the parent material on top. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to put in some coarse sand. So watch as I pour it in. 
There we go. There's some coarse sand. Now I'm going to put in some fine sand. So that was brown sugar. This is what we call turbinado sugar. That's going to be my finer sand. So watch as it goes in. Does this look delicious? Now for my very fine sand, I'm going to use granulated sugar. So let's pour that in. And then for my silt, I'm going to use cocoa. So we pour that in. There we go. And for my clay, I'm going to use powdered sugar. But I have something else I can use for clay in a second. But next, to be different things in the soil. So I've got coconut. That's going to be like our fungus. So let's put that in. And then I've got some cereal, which is going to be like the hypo, like the network of all the, the um, roots kind of and root hairs. Then some organic matter. So I've got some raisins to be the organic matter. And then I've got different sized seeds to be different sizes of rocks. So here's some pumpkin seeds, some sunflower seeds, some, these are little tiny flax seeds. I have some chia seeds and poppy seeds. So those are all our little tiny rocks. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, that's, that's not all. This looks like pretty good soil to me. But I'm going to take, and I've got some frosting here. So I'm going to put some more clay in my soil. So let's give it a squeeze so you can see how the clay comes out. There we go. And now I have different chips to represent some of the other things that are going to go in the soil. So to remind us that rocks come in different sizes, I have mini chips. Can you see those? Let's pour them in so you can see them pour. I have medium-sized milk chocolate chips. That's for our medium-sized rocks. And giant-sized dark chocolate chips to be our large rocks. But I also want to remind us of the different kinds of rocks. So I'm using these cinnamon chips. That's going to be our igneous rocks. And I'm using the butterscotch chips to be our sedimentary rocks. And the peanut butter chips to be our metamorphic rocks so that we know there's lots of different kinds of rocks. Then these white chips are things like fossils and coral, other kinds of things that go in. So the last thing that's going to go in my soil is I have a pretzel to be a stick. And of course, our friend, the earthworm, keep that soil nice and moving. And now I can take, and I've got some nice celery here to be a plant to grow in my soil. So here's my celery. And I can put that in my soil to grow in my soil. So we can make edible. That means you can eat it. Soil. I also made edible soil in other ways. I made edible soil cookies because I want us to remember. And what's a better way than remembering than having a cookie, right? So here's a nice hard soil rock. You can see different things are embedded in it. And here's one where you can see all the different kinds of rocks embedded in it. This one represents all the different kinds, oh my goodness, all the different kinds of living things that might be in soil. And this represents all of the different kinds of particles. We do have a stick there and we do have a little bit, maybe we want to call that this time our rhizobium, as if it's something that hangs on to the roots. But we have the different kinds of sugars to represent the different size particles. Now, the next thing we're going to do is what are some of the projects we can do? So somebody took this rock and painted it. It looks really pretty. 
but let's look at some of the ones that I made. So, one of the things I did was make a soil collage with some of the things we might find in soil right here. So we have some dark soil and some sand and a leaf and a twig and some bark. We might find all of that in soil. We can also do soil and rock painting. I'm gonna show you the rock painting in a second. And there's two ways we can do rock painting. I used these rocks to print and draw with paint to make a, a rock and soil print right here. You can also do rubbings where you put the rock underneath and rub on top of it. And I painted a rock. So here's my painted rock. And I can make a rock sculpture. So I can take some of my rocks like this and pile them up and make a rock sculpture. Whoops, I think this will be better this way. There's my rock sculpture. So I can make a rock sculpture. I can also go to a home improvement store and I can get samples of countertops and tiles that look like rocks and try to match them to my rocks that I've collected. So that's another game that you can play. Or I can be a rock and roll fan. Hello, children, I see you. Or making soil. Breaking up rocks. I can be a rock and roller. So there's lots of things we can do with rocks. Now I'm going to end with our making rock song so that we remember that soil comes from rocks. And we remember that soil is what did we say? It's not just dirt, it is living. We saw that. Plenty of living stuff in my soil. So making soil, breaking up rocks, making soil, now just so. Now we add some air and water and some things to make things grow. And now before I say goodbye, I want to remind you Every second Saturday, go to the park, get your grab and go bag, grab, go, walk, learn. And also we say thank you to the Conservancy because it makes so many things possible. And we have things in the park every single weekend and all during the week. So you can go to your Conservancy, Bill Hardberger Park Conservancy calendar and look those up. I know that we help with on the fourth Saturday special walks. So there's lots of things going on in your park. So I will see you next month for blooming blossoms. They're just starting to come out and we're gonna learn that flowers aren't just on flower beds. But they're on trees, they're on grass, they're on cactus. We're going to learn lots about flowers next month. So shake hands with family. It's time to go shake hands with family. It's time to go shake hands with family. It's time to go. We hope we'll see you soon. Goodbye, family. Goodbye, family. Goodbye, family. We'll see you again next month. Now it's time to wait bye bye, wait bye bye, wait bye bye. Now it's time to wait bye bye. We'll see you again next month for blooming blossoms. And now we say goodbye. Have a great day.